What's up everybody and welcome to the new video from Sanctioned Ivan and you know what I've always wondered why have I never made a full video about my Cadillac Escalade because the Cadillac Escalade is a big big part of my YouTube channel without my car I don't know what I've been doing and it is the best SUV to be ever made I do not know why people say that it has some electronic issues or something like that because this bad boy you say you sliding where you at go, go make a hit so go get a back ain't trying to fuck why you hit my jack I get out my body when skipping this jack I stay on the block remind me of Shaq finesse in the plug he ain't getting it back you can't pray to God and get your homie back consistency is something you niggas lack you say you sliding where you at go, go make a hit so go get a back oh hello doggy hello hello он убежал у кого-то yeah this is somebody's dog <laughs> Where did you run from? Hey. Let's go find the owner of the dog. Hey, come here. <laughs> Who's the heck's dog is this? What, I can't even make a review of the car. It has to turn into a vlog somehow. I don't even know how. Now, how are we gonna find the owner? I have no idea. It's probably somewhere here. I don't know. Теперь понятно, как она убежала. I don't know how to help this dog because it ran away. Merhaba, is that your dog? Yeah. Yours? No, no. The woof woof woof. The dog. Ah. Is that your dog? The, the, the dog. Dog? Which yeah. one? The white dog. It's running around. No? What the heck? We're making video. No, it's not my dog. I don't know whose dog it is. We're making video on the dog come and it looks like it ran away or something. I know that somebody might have a small dog here or something. I don't know. It just ran away there. Yes. It's my dog. Oh, it's your dog? Yes. Oh, so there's no problem, he's running around, yeah? Anyways, that's his dog. Let's continue with the car. Huh? No, not that. The... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Baba, ben servisle gidiyorum. Anyways, let's go make a video of the car. We rescued the dog, we found the owner. We can continue make videos about the almighty beast, the Escalade. Now what's most important is that this car right here has a 6.2 liter V8 engine. And you might be saying, Ivan, why wouldn't you get yourself a Tesla? Why wouldn't you get yourself a small turbo engine? I'll tell you why. Because this car right here has a big engine, it doesn't have that much horsepower, which means it has 400 horsepower, I mean, that's a lot of horses, but it's very, very reliable. Now, that engine would not have any problem if you just change the oil, maintain the filters, and all that good stuff. Now, you know what, I'll be honest with you guys, my engine bay is not the cleanest, but I'll show you how the almighty V8 looks like. You guys ready for this? You guys ready to see the heart of the almighty V8 super beast Cadillac Escalade? It's right here, Lotus. Here's the beast right here. Now it's not that clean, but it's maintained. It just has a bit of dust on it, you know? A bit of dust. What's most important about this car is that it's absolutely huge. It's basically house on wheels because when I was moving out of Russia to Turkey, I had two more people with me and had a car packed full of stuff. You would have never been able to do something with your Tesla. You know what? You wouldn't be even able to drive out of Russia with a Tesla because nobody really made enough charging points anyways. And if they did, you'd have to charge your Tesla for such a long time. Nevertheless, I could put some fuel, petrol, inside my car and drive as far as I want. Now guys, let's do a little review of the interior. I mean, Lourdes, you know, this is absolutely luxurious right here. You got yourself some 
leather. Now what I like and hate about this car, this is basically a Chevy Tahoe, but it's a bit more luxurious. So you don't get the best quality that you could get out of a Cadillac, but it's still quite good. It's a bit plasticky, but you know what? When you're inside this flipping thing, you feel like you're in a tank. And the best part about this, right, is you sit inside of a normal car, you sit down, right? And you have to get in it and get out of it. And here you walk in like inside of your house. Look at this. This is how you get in into a proper man's car. You step on a stepping stone right here. You step in and you literally fall into the car. And if you want to get out, you literally walk out just like outside of your house. Just close the door. This is why you should get yourself a flipping Escalade because it's made for comfort. Now, the back passengers don't have that much comfort because I don't know what they were smoking while they were making towels and Chevrolets and Cadillacs at that time. But you can see this door is big and this door is small. And you might be wondering, this car is huge. It must have a lot of space even in the back. But who the heck made this? What is this? What? Is this a Kia or a Hyundai? Look, I can, this is how you have to get in, right? You have to squeeze yourself in. Your leg gets stuck right here. So you're gonna be scratching this part all the time. And you, look, this is me sitting behind me. Ugh. How am I? Like once you get in, it's fine, you know? You have a lot of space. It feels comfortable, but getting in and out of the back of this car is really flipping annoying. So getting out and getting in is the worst part of being a back passenger. Do I care? Not because I drive the flipping thing. Now to get out, you literally have to put a bit more effort and then you just step out of it and walk like walking outside your house. So this is pretty much it. It also has two back seats so in the back you have two more seats for two more passengers i'm not going to show you the rear because it has a lot of shit in the back that i don't think i should show you so let's go for a ride in this cadillac and check it out So, as you can hear, the sound of the V8 is absolutely amazing and that is because I actually removed the muffler of this car. You might be thinking, I mean, are you stupid to drive without a seatbelt? Heck no! Don't be silly! Put on your seatbelt on you! And you know what? A lot of people are like, why would a Russian person even consider buying a Cadillac Escalade if he lives in Russia? Well guys, there's a show called the Sopranos, which I really, really loved. And the main character used to drive the flipping Escalade himself. So the main character, actually kind of, I, I'm actually in a dress that could probably absolutely suit the Soprano sequel. You know, I could be one of the characters out of the Sopranos. And also when I was a kid, I'm a big fan of rap songs and stuff like that. So you, I would listen to like, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I would listen to 50 Cent and Ice Cube and they'd be driving those Escalades in those, you know, big 21 inch rims. And I was always like, wow, that is so flipping cool. So that is one of the reasons I got it, you know, because it's uh, not a very expensive car, but it's for the price I got it for, which was like $15,000, I think it's one heck of a flipping amazing car that you could have. So, the big cool thing is that it has a big naturally aspirated V8 with 402 or 409 horsepower. It's so flipping awesome and that is why it's so reliable. And the thing could get to 100 kilometers in 6.7 minutes could you imagine that this big huge suv 6.7 seconds 
to 60 miles an hour and 100 kilometers an hour that is just absolutely incredible and you know what in this video in this little review about this you could say the main character of my channel as well we will see how fast we could get it zero to 100 kilometers and for you americans zero to 60 kilometers so let's get on a safe place on a racetrack you know you don't want to break any rules or anything like that so we're gonna go on a racetrack where there's no danger to anybody else and we're gonna try to go zero to 100. so guys we're on a special racetrack let's see what this car can do from zero to 100 kilometers an hour so let's go not in manual mode just drive I, I I doubt that was 6.7 seconds but you know what maybe in manual mode it would actually be able to do that uh, we just gotta figure out how we can make it happen and also I have back row of seats which could definitely you know um, slow down the car a little bit and also we were uh, going in drive mode and if you casually drive all the time it usually gets um, you know used to that most of the times so let's see if we could go in manual mode somewhere here let's see okay let's try to go into manual mode and do 0 to 60 which is 0 to 100 so let's start That was probably quicker, but you know, today the racetrack is a bit busy with, you know, big, big trucks and stuff like that. So it's quite hard to do the examinations, but I am investigating this vehicle. And trust me, I raced against a 2008 BMW 330, which is the naturally aspirated BMW. And I flipped and wrecked it from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour. So this thing still has powder in it. So it could truly, truly show some of the newer cars how the real cars were made back in the day. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed this little review. And to get a bit more about my Escalade. And if you enjoyed it, you might as well press the like button, subscribe and comment in the comment section below and you tell me if you had an escalate what would you do to it or maybe you have some suggestions what should i do maybe i should somewhat tune my car maybe put a compressor or something on it one day imagine making your own escalate v that would be flipping amazing now i'll tell you one thing guys suggest me if you enjoyed this type of format what other car would you like to see me do a little review like this on Type it in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, press the like button, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below. See you later, guys.